divers are waiting to search South Korea's stricken ferry, but they can't get in. Held back by strong currents today, this was all the rescue teams could do. And in case there was anyone alive to hear them, they brought in oxygen to pump inside the hull. Parents believe their children may be clinging on in air pockets. Their disappointment at not finding them, turning on the rescuers themselves. Children are dying, they shouted. Why aren't you doing something? Out there is a disaster that no one can get to. Perhaps hundreds of people, most of them children, trapped inside a sunken ship, surrounded by rescue boats, but cut off from them by these terrible conditions. Kim Yong-chol came to Jindo last night to find his 67-year-old mother on her way to a cycling holiday with friends. It takes him a while to find her photograph. She hates having her picture taken, he says. Everyone wishes their relatives will survive this accident. But right now, I don't have the energy to get angry. I want to cry, but I can't. I have no one to talk to. I don't want to worry other relatives. So I've decided to face this alone with my brother. This video, apparently shot from inside the ferry, shows how passengers struggle to stand up in the listing ship. The captain hid his face at the police station today, feeling the pressure of getting out alive. I am really sorry. I am deeply ashamed. I cannot put it into words. For some of those here, the wait is over already. This mother reunited with her child too late. But grief is felt across the country. Most of those on board the ferry were pupils at this high school outside Seoul. The names of those still missing from the registers far outweighing the numbers found. And then there are stories like Gion's, six years old and pulled from the wreckage yesterday. A chocolate bar to mark the end of her ordeal. Stories like Gion's are getting rarer here, but it's stories like hers which give the families still waiting hope. Lucy Williamson, BBC News, Jindo, South Korea.